Imagine growing older, alone. Your spouse or partner has passed on, as well as most of your friends and relatives. Others are distant or unable to get out. With the frailty of age, the simplest tasks are no longer possible. Most days, the only voice you hear comes from a television. How would you cope with the isolation? I don't think we're aware of how much we depend on other people in our lives and um, often older adults don't have somebody in their life, certainly not on a daily basis, and that's where Friendship Works comes in. To be that family, to be that friend, to help out, to ensure that you can keep as much independence as you can. The cornerstone of Friendship Works is the Friendly Visitor Program. Volunteers are carefully matched with elders, providing some much welcomed company on a regular basis. Hello. Hi. Good, good to see you. Mm, great to see you. When I open that door, it's a breath of fresh air. And no matter what my mood might be, it's just, hi. <laughs> it's really great. She's a really fantastic lady. She's very educated, progressive, uh, very fun lady. We can talk about anything from current events to politics to most everything under the sun, and we're right on the same page, which a lot of times a 90-year-old and a 30-year-old might not be. <laughs> Mr. Bridges is very unique. His wife passed away probably about four or five years ago, and he has no family here other than one brother who's an elderly person as well, who can't get out. I knew that he would benefit from a visit on a weekly basis. All right, this is good to go. You don't know what you'd do if it wasn't been so kind of you, Mr. Bridges. Okay. This is something that I would like to do forever. I've learned so much from the different matches that I've had. To give of yourself and your time to someone else is invaluable. It really is. Friendship works, how may I help you? I think the average person does not realize how important an organization like Friendship Works really is. They do such a terrific job in meeting the needs of everyone that requests assistance for them. One of those critical needs is getting to medical appointments. And that help is provided by medical escort volunteers. We go with somebody, stay with them in the waiting room, make sure that they're not forgotten in the waiting room, alleviate the anxiety of sitting there for two or three hours sometimes to wait to see the doctor. Friendship Works also provides services to the hearing and vision impaired. And friendly helpers pitch in to assist with specific tasks, like grocery shopping, moving, or just simple errands. The Friendship Works office in Jamaica Plain focuses on the needs of both English and Spanish-speaking elders. We are the only volunteer program particularly serving Latino elders with many bilingual volunteers and many of the volunteers are both friendly visitors as well as medical escorts. Pet Pals and their volunteer owners make regular visits to nursing homes and assisted living facilities. The residents lighten up when they see the dog come in the room. I had a black lab for 10 years. They tell you stories about the dogs they used to have. I mean, it just brings them back to a, a, a place they remember and love. You do wonders for people who love animals and don't get to have them. We know that social isolation and loneliness kills and we know that we also can do something about that. It's not just our obligation as human beings, but it makes our lives better. We have a really great time together doing some very beautiful activities. We just recently visited her husband's gravesite. It was something that she was wanting to do for many years and she has not been able to visit. He really put his heart and soul in that. He bought a plant and planted it. 
And I was so pleased with the whole thing that he was pleased. He could identify with my own joy, and so he had joy, too. Oh, Mike. To have someone like Mike is what keeps you going. It really is. Good luck. <laughs> I truly believe that we can end elder isolation. We're never too old to make a new friend, and we're never too young to have an older friend. What we do is really quite a simple concept. It's neighbor to neighbor, it's being a friend. We all know how to do that. If we come together, we can do that together and change the communities that we live in.